Hi there, my name is Jennifer. I'm HIV positive. Been living with HIV since 2013 and one of the most asked questions is about my symptoms. And I had a lot of them. That's typical with HIV. Before I get into all of them, I do have a video on YouTube called my 16 HIV AIDS symptoms. You can find the link in my bio. So here we go. Most notable first symptom, most likely when I seroconverted was esophageal pain, like an ache at the base of my esophagus, maybe where my stomach meets my esophagus, don't really know, but that's where it felt like it was, and a really bad headache. I saw a gastroenterologist for the pain because it was that significant, and um, he just chalked it up to coffee, but it wasn't coffee. The symptoms go away, so it's not that alarming. As per usual with HIV, things come and go. I had a ton of sore throats in between the time that I'm pretty sure when I contracted HIV and by the time I was diagnosed, it was a two and a half year period. I had a rash around my mouth that a dermatologist chalked up to age and hormones. He put me on antibiotics for that, which caused a rip roaring yeast infection. Had a lot of those too. By the time I was diagnosed two and a half years later, I looked like this. When I was diagnosed, I had an AIDS diagnosis. I had pneumonia, fevers, night sweats, thrush in my mouth, all over body aches and just complete lethargy. On this day, I felt like I was gonna die. My CD4 count was 84. Anything under 200 is considered an AIDS diagnosis. It's now 500. My viral load when I was diagnosed was 507,000. It is now undetectable. It is now zero. It's zero. And because it's undetectable, I cannot transmit the virus sexually. I just take a pill a day. This day was really hard. This was the day that I went to the hospital and found out that I had pneumonia. And um, I already knew I had HIV here, but I did not know that I had an AIDS diagnosis, but it was becoming more clear that that was the direction this um, diagnosis was going. I forgot to say I also had a swollen lymph node on one side that I went to an ENT to see, and he just wasn't concerned about it because lymph nodes do swell up from time to time, and that's also not that alarming. I got on treatment, antibiotics for the pneumonia, ARV for my HIV, and within five weeks, I was surfing and I felt much better. I actually had AIDS here still, but I felt much better. And what I mean by that is I still had a CD4 count that was under 200. I was probably about 175 at the time, but I was taking medicine prophylactically, so I wasn't concerned anymore about getting sicker. I felt fine, and so I just moved forward with things I wanted to do. One really important note, you cannot diagnose HIV by symptoms. You need to get tested. Please test for HIV. It's the only way that you will know.